Hey, welcome back to Nerd Nation to have the real connection with your host, Nicole Jasper. And today I'm going to talk about elements of memes, particularly in theories and my experiences with theories. Although, there are many different types of elements of memes. Stay tuned, find out more. And this song is called A Cradle Song by Mary Riddle. of memes, particularly in theories. Um, whether believe it or not, they are very real. Uh, as I've had my share of experiences with theories uh, throughout my life. My actually, my um, grandmother introduced me to theories. Uh, she was into uh, Wiccan and, and uh, all sorts of, uh, uh, I don't know if it's witchcraft or she's into Wiccan. Well, I thought that's pretty thin, but she introduced me to fairies, uh, young age. Uh, I was probably in my early teens when I, when she first told me about them. She had a crystal ball or something that they like to, um, actually live in there, and I was like, I was kind of skeptical at first, until, um, I had, uh, seen them in my own eyes. And ever since then, I've seen these fairies. I have uh, like the orb, but their their colors are different. They're very colorful. The one I've been seeing lately, uh, they're like golden orbs, and the last time I saw a fairy here was like a couple of years ago. I saw the golden orb, and it was in our front house, in our front restroom, right? I hope you guys can follow me. Yeah. So this front restroom, I believe, is haunted because I I have weird experiences there. You oh you will notice what we haven't noticed: light slippery. And I managed to capture an EVP one time, like someone moaning, um, or wailing, whatever you call it. But, um, when you capture an EVP, like the videos, you know you got something. But unfortunately, I haven't been able to capture these amazing fairies. But when you do see them, they're like, at least when I see them, they're like golden orbs. Pure golden orbs. Alright? No bigger than your hand. Right. So there's also other elemental memes uh, besides fairies or gnomes. I haven't come across gnomes, but I know a mutual friend that she's come across gnomes. And uh, there are uh, other elemental, like, uh, I believe, mermaids. Uh, and I cannot say this one for the last of me. Selps. The selps. Are the spirits of the air. And maybe that's what I've been seeing too, which are usually invisible. Now I tend to see that energy in the air. Maybe that's what I've been seeing, and I would make total sense what I've been seeing. It looks like, I like to call it little energy, a bubble. They look like little bubbles. It's just what I like to call little bubbles. <laughs> so that's probably what I've been seeing. So, alright, and they're like pure energy, uh, bubble form. Like orbs, but they're see through. Alright, that's why I call them little bubbles. <laughs> so, 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 I'm gonna see them. It's pretty cool. And they move very quick. And you have to know where to look. Uh, and you have to see them up in the air. Sometimes, like I did UFO craft. And I, I sometimes I'm afraid to look up and see, I know I'm gonna see something. So, <laughs> sometimes I've been lucky enough. Um, that I would capture them on film, uh, mostly uh, UFOs, but I haven't been able to capture myself yet. Elementals. Uh, maybe one night. Other days, uh, in the sky, with my hammer, I didn't see if I can capture it that way. <laughs> <laughs> but 
So I hope I'm not the only one who see it. So I am. Um, so I, I believe if you are gifted in like clairvoyance and stuff, please you can see the spirit world. That might help. <laughs> um, there are also another form of elementals called the uh, see if I can say it right. Selen Selenmet. Selenanders. They specialize in power, like um, fairies. They specialize not in power, but they specialize in, in uh, what's that word? Manifesting. So, like, if you want to manifest something in your life, you should probably um, try to uh, communicate with fairies. You know, um, not like the fairy from Peter Pan. But however, it could resemble that, um, the fairies are like little people like gnomes, right? Um, fairies are very intelligent. Uh, Sorry about that, it's pretty chill in that. I'm gonna say, fairies are very intelligent and very temperamental. Like horses. <laughs> you know? I'm sorry, I like horses. Um, they're like the guardians, the fairies. Are like the guardians of plants and flowers. Every plant is, has a fairy on it uh, or a flower, even more than one. So you will potentially be able to feel that there are uh, fairy energy around flowers. I like the art of flowering, so. I'll try to share it when after I'm done. So, fairies also like to stay with pet flowers. So, this is my favorite part. So, after they have been picked, so if you have a bunch of flowers in your house, even though you might have fairies nearby. Okay, um, so the fairies were the first elemental that were introduced to me like I said earlier. <laughs> At first I could not see them or, or hear them very but after a while I um me and my friend and I I could feel and sometimes see their sub their exceptional energy. They're very energetic. Um like I said I see that all from the light maybe or light normally. Some could be fairies, you know, or spirits. You know when you when they're um fairies they have a different kind of color oil around them. The way I see it, like I said before, it's a golden oil. Uh so after a couple of months, couple of I would say few years <laughs> learning about these fairies, um I started to get really excited. I knew it, I'm like, I know I'm not the only one that's had the experience <laughs> and sometimes what I did here, spirit had just been to hear is very, uh, on some occasion, you know. Fairies, you know, when you hear spirit, it's different from fairies. Um, they have a, um, squeaky little voice. A very high pitched song um, compared to the other, like, uh, human spirit. The very high pitched song, squeaky little voices. And, um, uh, they're playful and a bit, um, what's the word, um, mischievous. They're not necessarily evil, they're just mischievous. <laughs> um, and they look like, like I said earlier, they look like little people with slender bodies. Um, big eyes, usually blue. And I have blue eyes, <laughs> but not pointy ears like they do. Um, the flower fairy, where, um, these cats, usually which are flowers, they are guardian and living on. So they all wear different colors depending on their uh, plant type and they have beautiful little wings on uh, that is from their, um, from the back. And sometimes I hear messages from fairies. Um, Like, um, we fairies are here on earth at this time to safeguard the plant kingdom and to protect
produce beautiful flower displays for insects, animals, and human and birds. All of the earth is in a, in, in a heat system, working in harmony and balance. When one part goes out of balance, everything is affected. Just now, we there is a particularly uncertain amount of these chemical sprays and genetically um, modified crops. We are assuming to return to um, more organic farming practices as we saw interfering in nature. It is our wish to be in the series connect with more of the human race to work together to protect the plant kingdom. Right, and that was the note from the series. So let's take our first break. <laughs> Thank you. 